In this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways of how to mount a wireless lapel microphone to your subject. So let's get right into it. Now, wireless microphones are a really awesome and really convenient way of capturing clean, crystal clear sound when you're out on the field. But the problem is wireless microphones can be a challenge and if you don't get it right, then they can create some really horrible sounds. They can rub against chest hair, they can rub against clothes and cloth and you could end up with really bad audio. So follow a few of these techniques to capture crystal clear audio from your microphone. So the first technique for mounting a wireless lapel microphone is to use a microphone clip. Now, if you have a microphone clip, then all you need to do is paste the clip onto your microphone, run this underneath your shirt, and you can clip this onto the top of your shirt if you're wearing a t-shirt. However, if you're wearing a suit, then all you need to do is drop the wireless pack into the suit jacket pocket, and then run the wireless microphone just outside and clip this microphone to the suit jacket. This is the easiest way of placing a wireless microphone on somebody. It produces the cleanest possible sound, but the problem is you will see the microphone. Now that's fine in most cases. If you're doing an interview or if you're talking to camera, then people understand that you do need to have a wireless microphone to capture good sound and it's kind of forgiven. You'll typically see this on the news all the time. You'll see a news presenter with a wireless microphone attached to their suit or whatever they're wearing and you kind of forgive them because the information is far more important than a microphone to somebody's shirt. But if you're shooting something and you need to hide the microphone, then there are a few different ways of doing this. Now, the most simple way is to run the wireless microphone underneath somebody's shirt and tape the microphone to the inside of the shirt. Now, depending on the shape and size of the person that you're giving the microphone to will depend on where you put the microphone. But there are a few different places where you can put this. And the first one is literally at the very top of the shirt. You just want to tape it to the inside of the shirt just here and that should do the trick. But if the microphone is rubbing against the shirt or the body, then you can just move the microphone to the gap just here. At the very top of your stomach, there should be a gap just here. And just placing the microphone here is a very easy way to prevent clothes rubbing because you've got a little bit of a gap. So all you need to do is just get a little bit of tape and place the microphone just on the shirt, not the skin. If you tape the microphone directly to the skin, then this is really going to hurt and is going to be very uncomfortable when you pull the microphone away. And this is doubly as painful if you've got a hairy chest. So don't give somebody a free chest wax when you're taking the microphone off. Mount the microphone to the t-shirt and you should be good to go. If this doesn't work though, then you can always hide the microphone underneath a tie. So if the person on camera is wearing a suit and they have a tie, then all you need to do is run the cable underneath the bottom of the shirt, run it up, pop it out, and then run the microphone up through the back of the tie and tie it up within the knot at the very top of the tie. This is a really awesome and a really convenient way of hiding the microphone. And because the tie is so close to your neck, it means the microphone is super close to your mouth, meaning you're going to capture really clean audio. Another option is to mount the microphone in your collar. So if you're wearing a collared shirt, if you're wearing a formal shirt, for example, then you want to keep the microphone pack on the waist. You want to run the microphone cable up the back to the back of the shirt. You want to fold the collar up and put a little bit of tape at the back of the collar and then run the rest of the microphone around to the front and tape the microphone to the inside of the collar. Again, this is a really awesome way of shooting audio because the microphone is there your mouth is here, you're gonna capture really clear audio. Now, when you're taping your wireless microphone to somebody, you really want to make sure that the microphone isn't rubbing against their clothes or against their skin. Because if it does, then unfortunately, you're going to hear the sound of clothes rustles or hairs rustling against the microphone, which will ruin the audio. So if this is the case, then you can easily avoid this by one of two methods. So the first option is a Rode Invisilav. And an Invisilav is this small, rubbery silicon type wallet for your microphone. So you put the end of the microphone into this Invisilav and you tape the Invisilav to somebody's shirt or you could put it in their collar, put it in their tie. And this is really awesome because it really prevents the sound of clothes rubbing against the microphone. These are around 10 pound on Amazon though. So if you're looking for a free and budget friendly way of mounting the microphone, then there's this really awesome hack that you can do with a little bit of tape. So grab your gaffer tape and take around one inch off the end of the gaffer tape. Now you want to fold one corner into the opposite corner and then you want to do that one more time. So you should have this really small triangle with two sticky sides. 
Now you want to take the wireless microphone and stick the end of the microphone to this triangle. You want to make sure that the pointy part of the triangle is facing down. Now you want to go ahead and create one more sticky triangle. So get another inch of tape, fold this over, fold this over and apply this directly on top of the microphone. So you should have a little microphone sandwich. Now all you need to do is place this sticky triangle to the inside of somebody's shirt and then tape down the loose wire inside of the shirt and then you should be able to capture really crystal clear audio without any rubbing. Now mounting a wireless microphone to somebody can be a very close and personal thing to do. Now when you're doing this you want to speak to them and really make sure that they know that you need to either go up into the shirt and you have their permission to do so or you're going to have to teach them how to do it. Sometimes people really won't mind if you just go up to the shirt for them and do everything for them providing that you've asked them and providing that they know exactly what you're doing but sometimes people feel a little bit uncomfortable by this so they'll ask to do it themselves and then you can make any fine adjustments at the end. Either way it's really important that you make them feel comfortable. Don't just throw your hand up their shirt because you've got a job to do. Respect that the people you're putting the microphones onto are people, you need their consent before you put it onto them. So be respectful and speak to them beforehand before you place a microphone on somebody. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video or if you found it useful at all, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.